what's happening folks and welcome to the first episode of rebuilding sunderland don't forget if you're excited for this series drop a like on the video you know what if you want to keep track of it as well subscribe as well check out the links down below to social media twitch on twitch we're live on friday saturday and tuesday with spurs work permitting of course and also discord down below as well to get involved in that and also get um if you're a united fan and you're watching this which they're saying not a lot of you will be. I've also got a Manchester United podcast that's released every week, um, once a week, to talk about the latest news about United and the games. So, yes, Rebuilding Sunderland. This is another attempt that some people have been asking for quite a while to do a lower team save. So we're giving it a crack. Um, and you guys can get involved in the comment section to help me out with this. Because, you, as you know, if you're, new to, if, you're not, if you're not new to my channel, this is not the kind of save I usually do. Uh, we usually, like... Top top team top league teams, but usually teams we can build up. Last year we did um, Ajax, which we can build up to be European powerhouse. We did Monaco. Uh, we tried Wolves. So those are the kinds of things I usually do. So I thought I'd give you guys something different this year and try. So all we can do is try. There's no real pressure on me. It's just have some fun on the game this year. So Sunderland, guys, is the save we're going with on the first full game series. So today's going to be an introduction episode. We're going to look through the finances, look at the formation I want to play, the style I want to play, and it gives you guys a chance to give your thoughts on that as well and give me your opinions on what we should be doing. So Sunday I today confirmed the appointment of Matthew as the new manager. They are in trouble. A two-year contract, I replace Phil Parkinson. Next screen. So obviously a real bad recent history for Sunderland. Um, from the Premier League down to League One. So we're going to try and um, restore them. The main aim in this series essentially is to get them back in the Premier League. Of course, you want to go further than that, obviously, as well. But the main aim is to get them back in the Premier League. So we, so we can see here the club background on there. They've got no director of football, which is something I want to try and address. I want a director of football in. Um, so yeah, let's go look at the next screen, which would be the formation. They're playing a five at the back. I don't play five at the back. I don't like five at the back formations. It's not my personal preference. So we'll change that pretty quickly. Um, so let's look at the um, club vision here, what they're asking, asking me to do. So they want, want, to play, want, want to play attacking football, play position football, develop players using the club's use system. All those three things I can see myself doing. I think the formation I want to play and how I want to play this year is definitely doable. So work within the budget required. This expectation, this, oh, right, okay. Okay. End of the current season, reach the League One, reach the playoffs minimum. This is the thing that I think they've changed the um, the whole um, club vision kind of expectations on the full version of the game, which is interesting. So, as I've seen a couple of times now. Um, so, reach, full, reach the playoffs. Mm, yeah, should be doable. Um, and then reach third round and reach the second round. So, yeah, that's under, that's a, that takes a lot of pressure on me. I was, I was expecting when I took this job to be having to get promotion straight away. That's cool. I like that. It gives you a bit of scope to, you know, not necessarily have to get promoted. So, And after that, there's nothing else really available because, as you can see, the chairman's looking to sell the club. We could potentially get a big takeover. I doubt it, but it'd be sick if we did, wouldn't it? So let's continue. Obviously, we'll do all this myself. Um, I'm going to take my time with this save. Uh, I've got some friends of mine, or one friend of mine who's from Sunderland, um, who might give some advice, but he might just want to see how I do anyway. So we're going to do all that stuff as well. Yes, that's fine. Confirm. So um, let's just save that. So yeah, in the comment section, guys, it's not introduction. It's not, 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 not done yet, by of imagination. Let me give me as much help as you can. Nothing is obviously the tactic I want to play is what I'm sticking with, um, but anything I'm glaringly doing wrong or anything you think I can just definitely do better or think any hints, I've never managed in League One before. Um, I've never done a lower league to say like this before in my life, so um, it's not since I was a kid when I didn't play the game the same way as I do now. So feel free, guys, to give as many hints as you possibly can advice for lower league, advice for um, transfers, tactics, anything really. Is up, is up there. And obviously I will try and space out the episode so it's not too far ahead of recording. So your suggestions you make can be applied. I'm going to try and record 
one episode a day, if not two a day, and then, you know, so I'll try not to go too far ahead of myself. So you guys get give me your suggestions and they can be included in there. So please not choose the contract. There's quite a few here. Um, I'm not sure who I'm going to keep, if I'm honest with you. A lot of, what's the highest wage? 16K, Aiden McGeady. I mean, I mean, again, I'm tr I, I, my head is in the Premier League level, so I'm going to I'm going to readjust that. Um, so we have to look, think about this again. Your thoughts on the competition? So the tactic I want to play um, is essentially I want to play. Um, so hmm. do we go with control possession? And that's the kind of formation I want to play with. Because um, because if you go back to what it says in the club vision, play position football. So I want to kind of stick to the club culture, if that makes sense. We've not got a lot of money spent on players though, so that's something we've got to be aware of. Um, so this is the kind of I want to play. Um, obviously, we don't have we've got we've got we've got one winger here. He looks all right. Yeah, I mean, obviously I may tweak a few roles here and there. But this is where you guys come in, guys. That's the... I'm just putting a great tactic in there. I want to be a 4 2 3 one. I want to stick with that. I'm going to, put, I'm going to have at least a number on this side. I may go inside forward, actually, on this side. I'll have to tweak a few things and look at it. Um, we've got inside forward here who can play there. What's he like? Okay, we've got a decent squad here that I think is workable. Um... Obviously, I have to go more in depth, and I can't really do it in a video. But if you're a Sunderland fan, or you've done a Sunderland set before, or you're doing it yourself, let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll, I'll be looking at various things uh, off camera myself. So let's look at the finances screen here. We've got five million in the, in the budget, and the guaranteed next budget. Uh, okay, this is interesting. So, the budget was 500k. 100% of the transfer re revenue is made available until 37.45 revenue has been generated. Therefore, after we drop down to 60%, next is a minimum guaranteed budget will be 1.35 million. Bear in mind, though, we have got a possibility of an ownership change. So that could be something that we are aware of. So look at the debt, finance, debt here. Got no debt, which is interesting. I would have sworn they, I could, I, I could have sworn they did. Projection, um, obviously, balance could change and all that kind of stuff. So, We've got to be careful around money a little bit, I think. Here. Expenditure is higher than our turnover. Um, wage cost is 10 million on wages. Let's look at this summary of wages here. Um, I'm just trying to, I, don't, I don't often go into salary commitments. There we go. Who's on the most wage here? 1.57 million total for Bradley Wright, who's our defender, who is a centre back, or he could be a right back as well, actually. But we don't like a pace of player payments sent the back. So we could maybe move to... Okay. Again, Will Grieg, of course, will probably be our main striker um, as a poacher or advance forward. Um, probably be our main striker going forward. So, yeah. Um, let's look at the club info. Uh, actually, not on screen. One second. I found it. So the facilities, we've got unstall heating, which is handy. We've got an average um, academy coaching for junior level, average youth recruitment. So I think that's something definitely we try, try, try to increase. But we've got excellent facilities though, superb trenches and good corporate facilities. So that's good, uh, and that's very good. The um, owners looking to look, willing to listen to offers, which is fantastic. Um, and hopefully we get someone. I'm not if it's in a tycoon, which would be fantastic. Um, but it'd be cool if we could get someone with a bit of money, uh, just to help us out a little bit and make us more competitive or way more, way better than the other guys in this division. So they said to us, they want us to get to the playoffs. So we've got to get in top six um, this season. I would think that would, I would think, I would think that'd be doable. Um, I would think. Hopefully we can do that. I mean, it would probably take, it sh we should do that. But I mean, I'm not amazing at this game, but surely, with the fact that I've got a decent striker up front, we can put one back in the net, and I'm playing a formation I'm very familiar with, and you guys are going to help me out as well. I can probably do that. 
And when, and if we do better than that, then fantastic. What's the prize win like in this division anyway? I'm just curious. Yeah, non-existent. Not a big surprise really. So playoffs is sixth. I just want to just confirm that. We used to playoffs. Yeah. So sixth place is minimum. Is minimum is the minimum expectation for us. So that's interesting. So our season starts against um, in the Carabao Cup first round. Then we've got Bristol Rovers. So we'll probably do those two games first um, and go from there. Um, next episode starts cool. So let's have a look. I'm going to, I'm going to put together a squad now based on what we've done with the tactic and just see where we're light in certain areas. So that is the lineup I'm considering going with, folks. Um, and I'm looking at the team report here and the squad depth. And I'm thinking... Maybe we look to get a central attacking midfielder in and maybe a right winger as the two immediate thoughts I'm looking at. I think Cam, right wing and left back are what immediately I'm looking at as areas I want to try and strengthen in um, because I just don't feel they've got the quality there I want. Now, I don't know if I can sign anybody in those areas, um, to be honest with you, but I will be looking around with some players in those areas. Obviously, we've got um, limited funds right now. We've got, like, 500k, so it may be loan deals I have to do or free transfers um, or no transfers if I can't find anybody. So, yeah, um, that is essentially what I'm going to go. And the bench, I'm going to have to have a look and try and just cover all those of the pitch, really. But, yeah, I think decent squad. I think, you know, the players that stand out for me are Will Gregg with a 14 finishing. I think will be very good for us. I might play as Poacher listed. No. I want to keep you, mate. I want to keep you at the club. Um, so, yeah, I think not terrible. Not terrible, as previously I was, I was worried about. And we've got a lot of homegrown players, so that's cool. That's also cool as well. But I do think maybe a central attacking midfielder, a right winger definitely needs to be brought in because Gooch is good. Um, but he has that. He's the only guy who can really play that position. So let's look at the youth system now, guys, and see what we've got in there because maybe somebody in there actually can play in those roles. So this is under 18s, and you can see we've got Sam some Irons Aaron, some here, who is a left back, um, who I don't think is going to be starting yet. But he's got good pace, though, which is interesting. Uh, next one down is uh, Andy Richardson, Adam Richardson, a goalkeeper. Um, again, good potential, potentially there. Looking at Louise, Louise Watts here. And then you're looking at guys who are not really going to be insanely good. I'm going to look for each one of them and look at them myself uh, in depth. The only 23 Oh, no, wrong button. Let's have a look what we've got here. Okay. Elliot Embleton out two to three months. What's his stats looking like? Okay, he's got good potential, so he may be somebody we, we, we use. Morgan Feeney. Okay, good potential in him. He's 20 years old, though. So, okay. I'm not, I'm not seeing anybody uh, who can play right wing, though. Oh, wait, there's somebody here. Ah, right, here we go. Um, Benjamin Kim Pong... Kim Pionka. It could be right wing, left wing, and striker. He's right footed. Decent potential, good amount of pace. Okay, maybe um, something for the future. Maybe not right for now because I want to get out of this league, but that's something to keep an eye on. Definitely. Um, Daniel. Again, so we've got good future players here, but I think it's all about just seeing what we can get in the market and then fill the rest of the players that we think could do a job for us this season. Bear in mind, there's no rush. The playoff is this season. Obviously, that may change if we get a new ownership when the more objectives get put in. I was waiting to see on that. I will keep you updated on the ownership and all that stuff And in next in the, in, as, it, as the episodes progress. It will be daily. However, I do put a caveat in there and say that this period from November to December... Is a tough time for me for content because I do work um, more hours than I would do during the summer months and after January. Um, and also, there's stuff going on with YouTube as well. So, I will try and make it daily. I will do my best to make it daily. But there may be the odd day here and there that gets missed. It depends on work. But when I'm not working, I'll try and record at least an episode a day, if not two episodes a day. I mean, when I'm not streaming, call one episode in the evening. 
that's what I'll try and do, but at the same time, try and balance it so that you guys are not too far behind. So your suggestions can't influence, you know, so you, so you, so your suggestions can help be part of the series. Okay, so, so in the comment section, guys, what is there is formation wise? Is it a good formation to use? Are the roles suitable, suitable for this, do you think? Any chance for suggestions, any hints and tips in general terms of people who, if you've done these kinds of things before, let me know in the comment section. I don't want to go on too long for an introduction episode. I just want to get this series started for you guys and allow you to give your input straight away. That's why it's a bit shorter than usual. No games right now. We're just going to just do a very short intro. Um, and then in my mind, the series also started as well. So I'm in the mo- I'm in the mo- in the mo- in the mode now right the series on the way we're we're in we're in, we're in there so yeah um thoughts on the series guys i hope you're looking forward to it ideas and tactics ideas and transfers anything else that you look to look to do from early on in this save and i'll see you all next time don't forget drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new as well don't forget check out the my united series that was loaded as well the first season of that is been done and there's no more episodes of that one but check it out anyway start tomorrow as well 11 a.m Twitch on live, Twitch live on Friday, Saturday and Tuesday, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.